up guys, it's Gene. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 84, I think. Yeah, 84 sounds about right. Anyway, we're uh, going to be laddering in UU you, you No Scald. Um, I've played a little bit of this meta so far. Not like anything crazy, um, but like I'm 20th right now, which is, it, it's it's like, it, it's a very early ladder. So, um, but anyway, anyway, I have this uh, Entei and Gator team that I threw together. Um, I really like Entei plus um, a physical setup sweeper because Entei does threaten a large majority of the current meta with Choice Banded Sacred Fire, Choice Banded Flare Blitz, stuff like that. Um, so I thought it would be only right to uh, kind of revamp this and instead of having a slower threat, we're going to have a faster threat. Um, so I added DD Gator, um, which is a very, very th uh, threatening mod. I decided on sub DD because it sets up on a lot of the bulky waters that scare Entei out, specifically stuff like uh, Suicune and stuff like Vaporeon. Um, stuff like that really gets set up on by a DD Gator. I also wanted to use Mega Pidgeot, so I added that. A very, very fast threat. Helps me keep in check a lot of, uh, maybe, like, grass types or... For instance, like steel types that could threaten this, or like Mega Pidgeot is generally just a very fast threat that I needed on my team. Uh, then I added a Scarfer, uh, went with Scarf Cross this time, as opposed to standard dot Scarf Shao, um, because I really wanted to try Scarf Moxie Cross. Um, and since Scald isn't floating around, I don't think Guts is as important. Um, maybe in the regular UU ladder it is, but with no Scald, it's not, in my opinion. So, standard move set there. Then I also added Dewblade because I actually really like using this thing. Um, it's a great offensive check to stuff like Heracross, stuff like Lucario, stuff like Crobat, which would otherwise tear my team apart. And then I have Infernape as my rock setter. Kind of a cool set here. Overheat, Stealth Rock, Endeavor, and Mach Punch. This should be 252 Special Attack. That should be four. Got him. Okay, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab a match right here. Um, hopefully, it won't take too long to find one. And it should be a fairly competitive match. Um, played Yabo earlier this morning. Played Bob the Brony. Um, we got Yabo. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> good luck. Um, Yabo's a really nice guy. I think he used to be a kitten milk on the forums. Um, really, really cool guy. Anyway, so I know this team. Um, DT Galvanchula. And, uh, god damn there we go. Okay, uh, Infernape, I believe, also speed ties that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to lead with Infernape, um, because what Infernape, uh, Yabo actually just, uh, PM'd me before, and was like, hey, yo, on your thing, um, because we were talking about DD Gator, and I needed to know how much speed I could run, and he was like, just run 252 Adamant to outpace Scarf Shell. I end up winning a speed tie, knocking him out with the overheat, so that's kind of unfortunate, um, because his team is pretty webs reliant. It's actually a really cool team that he has. Um, I should run Grass Knot. Yo. Um, I, I do actually like Endeavor, though, because what's going to happen right here is he's probably going to go into this, get up his rocks. I'm going to get up my rocks, um, and you know, I'm fine with trading rocks. Like, sure, I have Pidgeot, but Pidgeot has Roost, and uh, Entei is mainly just a wall breaker for me. So, um, I'm going to get up my rocks right here. Um, he may taunt, which would be a cool play, but he's probably just going to Aerial Ace. Um, he just goes for the EQ, which is fine. Um... Would have been the better play probably to Endeavor, but I didn't want him like taunting and me just being hosed. So I'm just going to click Mock Punch right here because it's not really an issue. Um, Gator does a lot of work to his team at plus one. Because um, I believe it can set up on Pert as long as it's not Roar. Can't actually remember if it is. I get a crit, which is a little unfortunate. Not sure how much it's going to end up mattering. Um, what's he got for this? Close combat should kill this thing. Um, I hope it kills this thing. We'll see. Um, I'm actually going to calc this right now to see if I... <laughs> I forgot to type slash. Now I just look stupid. Uh, Heracross. Uh, OU offensive. We need Jolly. Yeah, Jolly works. Um, versus Mega Aerodactyl. OU Stallbreaker. Close combat will knock him out. Even if he's running some defense. So... Um, I feel pretty confident just clicking the CC right here, knocking him out, picking up a free Moxie boost as he will probably go out into Zam, and Zam is actually a little bit of a problem for this team. Um, I'm really good at making teams that don't have switch-ins to Nidoking, 
or to the Nittos and to Alakazam. Um, that's something I should probably resolve, but um, anyway, at this point, as l this is a switch in. I'm, I'm taking a Draco right here, I think. Um, what are my opportunities? Opportunity, opportunity knocking at your dough. Uh, I'm going to go into Dewblade. He may just click Fire Blast, and I'm okay with that. Or I'm, or I'm a Lord and I go into Gator, and then I DD the switch. That'd be, that'd be a cool play. We're gonna do that, um, cause he just ends up going for Draco, and I just end up dying, which is fine. Um, a little unfortunate, I had to sack that, but at the same time, it's like now I get to go into Pidgeot, and uh, oh, that, that's unfortunate because uh, if he specs, I would have just died if he's scarf i may have lived but I, I don't think it would have mattered that much what i'm gonna do right here is i'm gonna mega evolve and go straight away for the u-turn i really think he's gonna switch out right here and i would love to pick up some momentum because if it means getting another close combat off with heracross and that is very very nice i also don't have a grass type attack on this uh, team which i may end up changing up so he just ends up staying in dropping another draco it's fine i'm a fat bird i'm eating that up um, so right here, I'm probably just going to go into Dewblade. Actually, I need Dewblade, though. Um, the goal should be to win with Heracross. I think I can do that, because close combat will just kill that, kill that, or knock them both out. Um, if I can get to plus one, Pert isn't going to like staying in. Um, and I can weaken Zam. If I can break Zam's Sash with E-Speed or uh, just... U turn from Pidgeot or Shadow Sneak, either of those will work. Um, anyway, I actually really like this team. I just kind of threw it together in five minutes because, like, it, it's kind of cookie cutter from a lot of my other stuff, but it's okay. God, calm down, Hera. Um, reveal Custap Zam and just knock me out. Um, that would be disappointing. Um, I know his Luke has EQ. I'm like almost 100% certain because he revealed it in a previous battle versus me. Um, but I'm not really too worried about it because he has to click E speed, I think. Oh, no, he just goes in a high dragon. Ugh, help. Um, let's see. What's your boy going to do right here? I think my best play is to sack. Sack Ente. Sack Ente. Right? Because um, it can't. It doesn't outspeed Luke. Shouldn't outspeed Luke. And uh, won't be able to kill Pert. So I'm going to go in Entei right here. If I live, that's beautiful. And I can just click E-Speed or whatever. Hopefully pick this thing off. Um, but this is actually kind of a problem for my team. Because Heracross is a little bit of a slow Scarfer. If I had Xiao, would be able to knock him out. But um, he goes for the Fire Blast, which is great. That's beautiful. Because now I can just click Sacred Fire for free. Um, have no reason not to. And... Uh, Something comes in and gets a burn, um, hopefully. He goes in a pert. It, I'm probably just going to... Oh. Oh, I suppose I suppose it's justice for me winning a speed tie earlier in the game. So I'm going to click Sacred Fire again, because I feel like he's just going to get his rocks up. Um, and I don't really want to take a surf with anything else. Um, I get a burn, which is nice. So he just gets up his rocks. So I'm just going to click Sacred Fire again. Like, I honestly don't care. Um... Because nothing else really wants to switch in right now. If I can just keep getting off a quarter of his health each time, that's fine. Um, and he should, he may actually go down after this next Sacred Fire, which would be beautiful. Um, does he just win with Dark Pulse now? Did I mess up that poorly? Probably did. Um, so he's just going to knock me out with another Surf. He's still alive, which may actually be good. We're going to go ahead and calc what Dewblade does to uh, Dewblade, uh, are you swords dance versus uh, your boy Hydreigon. Um, we'll go, yeah, you choice scarf. Shadow sneak at plus two. What does shadow sneak do? 21 to 25. Um, I would have to get to plus four to knock him out after rocks. That's unfortunate. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go into Pidgeot, and I'm going to try to Roost right here, because he shouldn't be able to knock me out with any one hit, um, and I'll have more HP to take on Lucario later. Uh, lag check. Um, 
And the goal of this play is to be on a good amount of HP to where he has to come in and click Dark Pulse with this, um, so I can get a free kill with, or so he has to come in with this, take Rock's damage, go for the Dark Pulse. Did he click EQ? No, he clicked Surf. It's okay. All right, cool. I think that's perfect. He may not be able to knock me out with the E speed from that range. We'll see. Um, either way. I could win right here. He goes in a loop, which is fine. Um, he probably kills me with E speed. I'm just gonna click Heat Wave though. Um, wait, is that the better play? We'll see. Oh, Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot versus Lucario. We're gonna go OU Life Orb Attacker. Has to be adamant. E speed would have killed, so it's okay. Um, I guess right here I go into Dewblade and try to SD. Oh, this is bad. This is all sorts of bad. Um, Lucario versus Dewblade. Can I get those calcs right quick? Uh, are you Swords Dance? But this is 248. What is Earthquake gonna do? Earthquake is do gonna do 41 to 48. Um, two high rolls will knock me out. I'm gonna SD right here because I think I have to. Um, I may actually be able to win, we'll see. Um, if he switches right here, he's a god. Um, that did 39. That was, he's jolly. Sick. Um, I'm gonna Shadow Claw right here. And then I will sneak the next turn. Because um, what that will allow me to do is to sneak, get damage, make him either take a drop or go, or hit two fire blasts. That's the goal. Um, God, this is this is gonna be close. It's gonna come down to a fire blast. Um, I don't think it. Oh, we'll see. Otherwise, two fire blasts. Two. <laughs> even even if I lose this game, it's like this. He's he's a mod. He's good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for the close wombats. Um. This fire blast lands right here. I'm gonna be a little happy. Um, oh, it might, it, might, it might not even kill. Um, it doesn't kill, so very GG. A uh, very, very good game. Um, that is definitely uploadable. And you know, I'm having fun at UU. Managed to build another team that wasn't exactly the same. I'll give my thoughts about No Scald in probably the next video. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Which is, uh, which should I, did, did I talk about Scald in yesterday's video? I may have. No, it wouldn't have been yesterday's. It would have been mo Monday's. I'm all thrown off right now. Um, no, I talked about Spring Break in the last video. Uh, what do you guys think about Scald? Um, does it deserve a suspect? Does it deserve a ban? Um, and by the way, this ladder isn't a suspect ladder. They're, they're just experimenting. So, you know, just thought I'd put that out there. Anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.